All right, welcome back. It's time for us to get into another conversation right here on Breakfast Daily. Now, we've been speaking about the Ghana Industrial Summit and Exhibition. Of course, you know this is an event that is annual, and uh, AGI is behind this event. And if you join us in the studio, we're going to be talking to Johnson Opoku Boateng. He is the Director for Business Development Services with the AGI, as well as Pitura Malgo. She's a Programs Officer, um, Economic private sector and trade section of the delegation of the EU to Ghana. Lady and gentlemen, you're welcome. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Now, let's get right into it. The This is this is how many years now you've been doing this? So, um, so this is the seventh year. This is the seventh year. Okay. Wow. It should have been eight, but because of the, the COVID. The COVID. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So um, who who is the main driving influence behind um, this is the summit okay so so basically it's the AGI mm. the Association of Ghana Industries uh, because um, you know we have several sectors uh, about 23 sectors so we cut okay. across the entire economy and uh, we always want to have um, a time to bring all the captains of mm. industry together mm. uh, so that we can actually judge all and mm. know what's happening within the, um, the, the, the economy yeah. and so on so AGI has put this together and uh, it's been running for the past seven years. Mm. Uh, and that is a, um, an opportunity for industry to think through mm. what has happened throughout the, the, the year. Mm. And then if there are policy um, um, suggestions to government, okay. we give to government. And okay. also, of course, all the, all the other investors that we, okay. we bring on board. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, this year, what's the theme? Um, for for the for the summit because I know every year you have something that drives the the, the, the summit. Yes. Yeah. So so we are looking at promoting value chains for competitive industrial development. Okay. So last year we we're looking at supply chains, and this year we we moved on to uh, value chains. Value chain. So we are looking at a cross section of, of of value chains, mm. but we want to look at it in a generic format. Mm. Mm. Okay. So we have a global view of what the value chains are and uh, how we can leverage on the opportunities. Uh, that come with mm. these uh, value chains. Mm, mm. Um, so we'll be looking at uh, six of them. Okay. Uh, so we'll look at the automotive, we'll look at the uh, textiles, we will look at uh, pharma, mm. that's pharmaceuticals. Mm. Then on the agri side, we'll be looking at um, cassava, we'll look at fruits, and then we'll look at uh, cosmetics. Okay. So these are six, but wow. the beginning of the discussions will look at globally what value chains are mm. and the opportunities that mm. we can, we can mm. derive from them. In terms of businesses that are happen to be watching us at this point, um, mm. why should they participate? Why should they be there? Why should they be part of what's... Well, I mean, I think that we, we, we have a, a very volatile and a, a very complex uh, world, I mean, this, uh, where we are. Mm. Um, when, it, when it comes to trade, even, yeah. um, we have to trade amongst ourselves mm. regionally. Mm. Okay, so the after comes in. Okay. But th they say the world is becoming a global mm. village. All right. It is a global it village. A global and we have village. to actually trade mm. with our partners, mm. the EU, uh, the US, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Mm. It is important for you to understand how value chains work. Okay in order to be able to take advantage mm. of the opportunities that lies. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of challenges as well, mm. okay? Mm. And when you come in there, there are experts who are going to be talking about the opportunities, yeah. they're going to be talking about the challenges, and, and try to bring businesses to navigate, mm. you know, around these challenges, the challenges to be able to make it, okay. you know, to the global market. All right, super. Okay. Now, Pitura, um, why is this year important for the EU you know, to support the summit and the exhibition? For us, it's already a tradition to support uh, AGI in the organization of the Ghana Industrial Summit and okay. Exhibition. Okay. I think it's like fifth time in a row, so oh, almost okay. from the onset okay. we've been supporting mm. the event. Um, and this is for a plenty of reasons. Uh, so let me explain some of them. Sure. For us, uh, the industrial development of Ghana mm. and the whole of Africa is one of our prime objectives of cooperation in okay. Ghana. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is also within the strategy of the European Union 
a global one, which is called Global Gateway. Mm. The strategy is, is about investing in critical infrastructure as well as value chains. Okay. That's why we are very excited that AGI has teamed this event, mm. the, the edition of this year, uh, industrialization through the promotion of the value, value chains. chains yeah. We also support a lot of them. Mm. Uh, let me tell about it a bit later. But mm. I also want to um, bring the attention to the fact that the EU is the main trade, one of the main trade partners of Ghana. Uh, we are the main supplier mm. and the, the trade balance for the last year, for a bit of statistics, it stood at a, at a trilling almost 6 billion euros. Wow. That's big, wow. right? That's huge. Yes. Yeah. So it's going both ways. Mm. The mm. EU imports a lot uh, to Ghana, but okay. Ghana also um, uh, exports more and more mm. to the EU markets. And what's really exciting, more and more of it, is the processed value added goods. Okay. So this okay. is also some um, the reason why we are supporting mm. the event. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so what do you bring on board? You know, apart from your your expertise, what do you bring on board for the event? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we work with uh, AGI uh, on a number of things. Mm. There is, of course, the logistical preparation. There is the contribution that we've made to program building. Okay. And uh, even the publicity, like mm. part of it is happening by right now yeah, yeah. by meeting you okay. and discussing it. Mm. Uh, but let me go a bit more in detail in the program mm. because the EU, uh, we have organized uh, the agribusiness session, which will be on the afternoon of day two of, okay. of GSE. So on 18th, on Wednesday, 18th of September. Mm. And uh, I would like to invite everyone to come and join us for the agribusiness session. Okay. Uh, this is because it, I think it's really interesting w the way we have set it up. So we will have a, uh, a researcher from the Council on I of Industrial and Scientific Research, mm -hmm. Dr. Omari, who will discuss uh, and present the outcomes of the recent, uh, also EU financed, by the way, uh, study on the digital uh, uptake uh, by small holder, medium holder and large, uh, large scale farmers. Mm. Because digitalization is, is uh, one of the themes that we are very much um, following, uh, the greening as well. Okay. Uh, those two are also the, the leading themes within the Global Gateway Strategy. Uh, so back to the session, there will be the uh, research presentation on digitalization in farming and then we will go uh, to panel that we have prepared together mm. with the Eurocham, so it's European Chamber of Commerce, okay. the Ghana Agribusiness Chamber, mm. some think tanks and uh, also practitioners and financiers of agribusiness. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so speaking about you know the details of the event. What yes. are some? Of, who are some of the speakers? And just take us through what's okay, happening. Okay. So, at the so um, the, the, you know, we do this. Uh, our uh, let me say uh, the the ministry that we work with a lot is is the Ministry of Trade, Trade and Industry. Industry. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Honourable Katie Hammond mm -hmm. uh, will be there uh, to open the session. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have MTN mm -hmm. uh, boss uh, okay. to be there. Uh, we're going to have uh, Madam Kusiyanki from the Ghana Enterprises Agency to be okay. there. So the opening. Is going to be, uh, and the ambassador of the Europe, uh, European Union to mm -hmm. Ghana is going to be there. Okay. Uh, our, um, Ishad, Ishad Rosali is going to be there, yeah. you know, to speak. And then beyond that, we're going to go into the sessions. Okay. So Dr. Fusu Dote is going to look at the blue ocean approach to value chains. So okay. he's going to have a global perspective. Mm. Uh, Dr. Farid uh, Arthur uh, from the National Coordinating um, 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 Secretariat for AFTA okay. is going to speak about the regional aspect. Mm. And then uh, the Chief Director of MOTI, um, uh, Mr. Patrick Nimo, is going to look at the uh, framework, mm. you know, policy frameworks on value chains. Yeah. Then the second day, we are going to enter into the technical sessions okay. where we're going to be looking at the various um, uh, value chains as I, I spoke to you about. Mm -hmm. So we have someone speaking to us from the farmer side, okay. uh, Dr. Lucia, and we have others speaking on other value chains, mm -hmm. okay, so for the second day. And then in the afternoon, we are going to have the agribusiness uh, session with the mm -hmm. EU, okay. as, uh, as uh, Margot uh, mentioned. Mm -hmm. Then on the third day, it's always the energy day. Okay, so we are going to be looking at renewable okay. energy and we're going to go a bit into uh, solar. Okay, so the Energy Services Center 
of AGI is going to uh, handle that with VRA. Mm. But VRA is also going to be uh, launching um, something mm. uh, beautiful, and I think that I'll okay. leave that. I'll leave that okay. for people to come and, 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 <laughs> to and, come and, and find to, out. To the... Come and find out. Okay. MTN also has something mm. to, to also launch. So that will happen uh, on the first day, just yeah. after the opening. Okay. So this is, this is the lineup mm. of activities that we have. Fantastic. But there's something interesting. Um, every, every event on the third day, we have what we call the Entrepreneurial Pitch Con Competition, okay. where we are nurturing uh, the next generation mm. of uh, industries, uh, captains of industry. Yeah. So that is going to happen in the afternoon of the third day. Okay. And then we have some side events. So the Women in Business mm. of AGI, okay. uh, they are five years. Mm. Uh, so they are, they are actually celebrating five years okay. this year at the summit. Fantastic. And then we have Plan International Ghana, who are also celebrating women that we mentored uh, through AGI, mm -hmm. I mean, supported to mentor. They are also celebrating them at the summit. So we have side there's events. a lot of different a, things. A lot, of, a lot yeah. of events. And the one it's important exciting. thing is that there's a, the, the, the COCO um, uh, value chain. Mm -hmm. There's a, um, something that we are going to be working around mm -hmm. uh, on day one. Uh, they have a, a workshop, which is on the value chain, and they want to... Uh, validate mm. uh, some of the things that you have put together and ITC is involved heavily okay. involved in that so okay. um, that is also mm. there um, let me talk about the exhibition yeah okay so we have more than 100 um, uh, exhibitors Exhibitors, wow so you need to work on uh, which, which is also from I mean EU supporting them mm. a lot is bringing about 50 um, uh, SMEs okay. uh, the Ghana Enterprises Agency through mm. the base box program mm -hmm. is also bringing about 50 SMEs, okay. and then we have a lot more um, um, companies also joining. So it's going wow. to be a very grand occasion, yeah. uh, and uh, we, are, we are expecting a lot of people to, to come through okay. uh, to see the exhibition and mm -hmm. also to interact with their business people. Super. So give us the, f the details again. Dates, times, w what's happening, and then sponsors you want to acknowledge. Okay. So um, it's on Tuesday, the 17th okay. of September. That's next week. Mm up to the 19th, okay. so Tuesday to um, uh, Thursday okay. next week mm. um, at the Accra International Conference Center. Um, it, it, it opens, uh, registration opens at 8.30, mm. but we've already shared some pre-registration links mm. so people can actually uh, register to come okay. uh, and attend. The exhibition is, is, is free. Okay. Everybody is expected to be there okay. to see what, uh, you know, after, after this is Ghana, yeah. then the summit comes in, yeah. so we have, some of the people who, from, are, come from who are also Ghana. coming, yes, Wonderful. you know, to meet the big guys, yes, to actually ha have some networking sessions. Mm. So, yeah, that's great. That is going that's to be. great. Yeah, and, and then the sponsors, yes. um, um, we have um, the European Union, mm -hmm. of course, uh, we have MTN, uh, it's one of our biggest sponsors, our headline sponsors for this year. Uh, we have VRA, uh, we have Ghana Enterprises Agency, okay, um, we have uh, Unido Wacom. Um, we have Ghana Shippers Authority, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have a, a host of them. Mm. Okay, so these are major sponsors uh, okay. for the uh, event. Uh, right. Ghana Stock Exchange is also coming; they are also sponsoring okay. the event, mm. and we are grateful to them, and we work closely with them. Okay. Uh, for the media partners, of course, uh, City uh, uh, FM and then Channel One TV. Yeah. Uh, we have Joy, we have uh, TV3, okay. um, and DDP Outdoors are mm. also uh, helping us okay. with the billboards and so okay. on and so forth. Yeah, so Beautiful. basically, uh, these are the, the sponsors. Right. For the Any final thoughts from you, Margot? Uh, sure. I think that foremost, it's important to encourage and invite everyone mm. in the Accra and Ghana community to mm. join this exciting okay. event. And as my colleague Johnson just said, it's, it's because it's going to show the public a lot of things that are also very, very exciting for professional activities mm. as well as even their okay. own um, personal development. Mm. So the, the exhibition, the sessions, the network opportunity is very important. So uh, I think... If you can manage, come, do join us next right. week. Yeah. Super. Yes. yes and the, the, um, the, the pitch competition mm. is being sponsored by GIZ and McGill okay. uh, University. Okay. Um, Plan International also had some, some sort of uh, pitch some time, okay. some time ago. But 
Um, like and fair, we, we want everyone to come, okay. um, especially those who would want to uh, venture into um, entrepreneurship mm. and they want to be giants for, yeah. for, for the next day. They should come and listen to all these big giants on that value chains Wonderful. to support their business. Wonderful. Thank yes. you. Thank you for coming through. Yeah. Thank you to you, Michael. Thank you. All right, so we've been speaking with Johnson Opoku Boating. He is the Director of Business Development Services with the AGI, as well as uh, Petura Malgoza. Uh, Malgo Zata, um, she is the Programs Officer with the uh, ec um, Economic, Private Sector and Trade Section of the Delegation of EU to Ghana. We'll take a quick break and there's more to come. You don't want to miss out.